Hi, I'm Adrian, call sign M0NWK. And in this video, I'm going to show you a 3 y mains filter I've made to remove interference from the electricity supply in my shack. I found details for how to make this on the website of Ian White, call sign GM3SEK. So thank you to Ian for the information. And if you want more details about Ian's website and some other useful links, please see my website www.m0nwk.co.uk. The filter consists of three turns of earth, neutral and live wires wound around the core of a ferrite type 31 ferrite core and that has a ferrite part number of 0431770081. The earth wire in the cable I used wasn't insulated so I've used a second blue neutral wire and put some earth heat shrink tubing on each end so it's easily identifiable. I've then connected the input and output wires to terminal blocks. I've mounted an IP55 plastic enclosure on the wall and placed the ferrite core inside. The input connects to the mains via my shack's isolating switch and the output connects to my bank of plug sockets. I suffer from interference mostly on the lower bands, top band through 40 metres, and this filter is shown to make a significant improvement, especially on the top band and 80 metres. What you're looking at now is my Icom IC7300 on top band, powered by a Diamond GSV3000 power supply, plugged into the main supply with no filter. As you can see, the S meter is around S7 and there's lots of noise on the waterfall. Now I'll plug the power supply into the filtered main supply, and as you can see the S meter's dropped around 4 to 5 S points, down to S2 to S3, and the waterfall shows a significant noise reduction. Switching to 80 meters with no mains filter, the S meter is hovering around S7, and if we switch to the filtered main supply, it drops to S5, and again the waterfall shows a significant noise reduction. Switching to 40 meters, you can see the S meter hovers around S7 to S8 with no mains filter, and if I switch to the mains filter supply, it drops to around S6 to S7. The antenna I'm using is NFED, and it's low to the ground and it's a very noisy antenna anyway so if you're using a better antenna system and you get a mains interference you might see better results than this. So there you have it for around £30 you can build a, a mains filter like this and it could make a significant improvement to your amateur radio experience. In the future I plan to put a standard two wire mains filter in the box after the ferrite filter and I've also got some other interference and noise reduction projects plans. If you're interested in seeing more about this project and some of my other past projects please see my website www.m0nwk. If you want to see more videos please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can also find me on Twitter at m0nwk. Thanks very much. Cheers 73.